Hi everyone. There have been certain events in recent weeks that I've not yet commented on on this channel. Due to much more recent events, however, I feel that needs to change and I need to start addressing some things. As some of you are already aware, Miss Mandy reacts, formerly Miss Mandy 777, will no longer be associated with this channel. She has previously appeared on many of my streams and even collaborated with me on looking into the eight passengers case. Unfortunately, some extreme behaviors of hers have come to light of late that make her continued association with my channel untenable. She has continually lied to, manipulated, controlled, and deceived others, including myself. Those actions have, in some cases, caused significant and entirely unwarranted harm to others, especially to those she called her friends. When these actions were brought to light, she turned to using threats and intimidation to ensure that her abhorrent actions would not be further exposed. This is a level of behavior that I cannot in good conscience support or enable. After having spent the previous weeks considering my options and talking through my thoughts and feelings with which, I have decided that it is my duty to tackle this behavior head on. In particular, I consider that I must do everything within my power to give a voice to those who would otherwise be silent. Following a Discord call with Mandy earlier, one which I found to be at times quite disturbing and distressing, I feel even more strongly that to call out this sort of behavior is not only the right thing to do, but the honorable thing to do. It is the just thing to do. It is what a musketeer would do. That process starts here. Now, commentator auditor was going to release a video addressing some of Mandy's misconduct. That was at least until he received this message. I'm just going to zoom in slightly here. You thought that Shiz had something on you? How would you like a class action lawsuit? Well, I have all your dirty deets. Oh no, I'm not bullshitting. Try me, see if I am. Night, night. And then she included his name, uh, which I've censored out for obvious reasons. She then had a change of heart. Okay, let's zoom in. First of all, she changes the, the threat to get rid of it. She says, CA, I'm very sorry. I love you, man. I'm getting help. I'm in what's called partial hospitalization once a week for six weeks. After I did a six day inpatient stint. Now, we do have suggestions that this didn't happen just so that everyone's aware. Just please be patient with me while I get this help. I love you all so much. I'm sorry, Mandy, but you have a very funny way of showing it. I understand if you don't forgive me, though. Take care. Unfortunately, the damage is already done. CA not only removed his premiere, but he also created a community post. And we're going to look at that right now. He says, everyone, I am sorry, but the video premiere for today at 1 p.m. EST has officially been cancelled. The reason is because the subject of the video, that would be Mandy, made an implied threat to dox me. 
because of safety concerns for myself and my family, I have taken down the video in question, even though the video was not threatening, bullying, or harassing in any way. The video was literally about how this person affected myself and others in the community with her lies and to plead for them to seek help. For this reason, I am also announcing the closing of the commentator auditor channel, maybe for good. Goodbye for now. This is not the first time that Mandy resorted to making threats or intimidating others in order to cover for her lies. She had previously suggested to Iron Wolf that Maddie B was dead. When he chose to confront her about this after learning the truth, she tried to intimidate him into silence. She once again reiterates what I said about Maddie was that they could only give me living information because of the laws there. But when they finally gave me information was that week they had found someone dead at her apartment complex. This was never the case. They did not find any body. Um, and even if they had found a body, they would not have told Mandy this. There is no reason for her to have that information. Not her actual apartment, but the building. That's what I said, but twisted to your narrative. And you need to watch, I presume she means here, you need to watch who you're getting pissy with. I am not the one, and you don't know me like that. Don't message me again next time I file a report with Discord. Iron Wolf had a legitimate complaint. He had a legitimate question, and he had very good reason for asking that question. And yet Mandy tried to intimidate him into silence, to cover for her own lies. And this is something I call her out for in my video clip from CA's video, which later became Dan's video. I'm actually going to play that for you now. Mandy, when you spoke ill of Witch and I and lied to our friends about us behind our backs, you hurt me. When you lied to me about Epiphanies and Vini behind their backs, you hurt me. When those very lies changed my view of them and caused me to treat them less than they deserved, you hurt me. When you turned all of the people that you called friends against each other for little more than your own amusement and a cover for your lies, you hurt me. When you drove Maddie, one of my dearest friends, away, you hurt me. When we were all terrified that something bad had happened to her, and despite knowing that it hadn't, you refused to tell us the truth. You hurt me. When, so soon after losing Limey, you continued to lie and insist to others that Maddie was likely waiting for him. You hurt me. When you threaten and seek to intimidate others into silence, that you may avoid the consequences of your actions and becoming ensnared in your own web of lies. You hurt me. When you lied to me and manipulated me into thinking that you were an innocent victim, that I might jump to your defence, you hurt me. When you called me your friend, despite considering me nothing more than a pawn, cannon fodder in your game of lies, you hurt me. When you apologised to me, and lied to me about having been in hospital for six days. And all you could say that was that you felt humbled and embarrassed. You hurt me. Well, I am done being hurt. I am done hurting others on your behalf. I am done allowing you to hurt others the way you have hurt me. 
your continued bad behavior is evidence that you have not learned a goddamn thing. You are not sorry for your actions or for your lies. While you may well be embarrassed at having been found to be the monster in makeup that you are, you are certainly not humbled. I am done thinking that you want to change, that you want to get better. I do, however, have to thank you. You brought back together people you once separated, people who ought never to have been separated, people who you can no longer control, manipulate, turn against each other, or destroy. But I promise you this, that if you continue to try, I will fight back on their behalf. I and Wolf might not know you like that, but I do. I'm going to be honest, I struggle to get that out. Mandy really, really hurt me, and... I still struggle to find the words to describe just how much she's hurt me. And I feel that I'm only just scratching the surface. I despise the fact that she is still continuing to hurt my friends. The damage that she has done is unbelievable. Unfortunately for you, Mandy, CA is one of my musketeers. I will stand by him, and I will defend him, just like I will Iron Wolf, and any others that you seek to intimidate. So, thank you for watching this video. I apologize that it's not been much, but... I just wanted to get a couple of things off my chest and to start the healing process, I guess. So, darling, take us out. All right. You ready? This world is an uncertain realm filled with danger, honor undermined by the pursuit of power, freedom sacrificed when the weak are oppressed by the strong, but there are those who oppose these powerful forces, who dedicate their lives to truth, honor, and freedom. They are known as musketeers. All for one, and, and one, one for all. all.